I am Sushmita Chatterjee from Scholastic India, and I am here with Meredith Constant, uh, an award-winning author fr from Australia, and she is here with us today to do a sort of small short Q and A, and uh, to tell us more about her brand new book Ella Diaries, which will be out soon. So, hi. Uh, how Hi, are you? I'm really good. I'm really loving being in India. It's really fabulous. This is your first time here, right? This is my first time here. And as Ella would say, it's fantabulously fabulous. Wonderful. Yes. So, uh, you know, it would be wonderful if you could tell us a bit about yourself and what your childhood was like back in Australia. Of course. So, I grew up on uh, in the country on a farm. And we had cows for milking. And... It was a place called the Kuwirup Swamp. Okay. And I, I didn't like being outside and being sporty. I like being inside, writing stories, reading, playing the piano. But I like riding my bike to school, to go to primary school. And I don't know if it was something about the bicycle wheels going around and around and the rhythm. But lots of stories and poems used to jump into my head on the way to school. I loved reading and I loved poems and I would say them over and over and over I was writing and then when I got home I would run into my room and grab a piece of paper there was no computers back then yeah. <laughs> and a pencil and I would scribble down all of the stories and I wish I had kept a lot I do have some of those stories but I wish that I had kept them but when I was about eight I decided definitely what I wanted to do was become a children's author. At that age? At eight, yes. I oh, even wow. had a pen name picked out. Really? What was yes, that? Yes, it was going to be Gemma Carey. Gemma Carey? Gemma Carey, yes. <laughs> so sometimes I do write oh, books okay. now okay. under that name. Okay. But mainly, mainly Meredith Costain. So that's what it was like for me growing okay. up. Okay. Yes. And uh, how do you get your ideas? You've written so many books in so many different kinds of genres and age groups. Yeah. Picture books, popular fiction, non-fiction. Yes. So where do you get your ideas from? Uh, ideas are everywhere. It's a matter of finding the ones that stick. So if, if I hear people talking, maybe they say something, I think, oh, that's a good idea. Or I used to play in a band and I would... Um, I heard about a little girl playing the trombone and I thought that's a good idea with Ella Diaries. Actually, Ella is just me. <laughs> so she's like me. She likes writing poems herself. And it, she's a bit, you know, like, oh, am I going to make friends? Are people going to like me? You know, are the girls going to be nice to me at school? But she's also very kind. And hopefully that's like me too. Um, but, yeah, I think, I think ideas are everywhere. You just have to find one and if it um, keeps coming back to you every night write me, write me, write me then I know that is a strong idea yeah. and I'll choose that one um, yes. Is that how you came up with Ella Day? Yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to write something um, because there are so many books for boys and often they're just all about body parts and yes. things and I like funny things yes. but I, I wanted to have humour for girls and I wanted it to be just a book for girls, I mean boys read them too, yes. but where girls could, um, they, they could have a great time doing lots of things that they like doing, being very creative. Mm. So Ella is a very creative girl, so she likes singing, dancing, acting, she likes designing her own clothes, but she's not very good at that. So she, <laughs> she might think something is very stylish and she might have like the feather boa from the grandmother um, and an apron yeah. and gumboots. <laughs> but you know, she thinks she looks really cool. She thinks she looks really cool. And she I does. love that. You know, she yes. has so much confidence. She has a lot of confidence yes. in what she wants to do and she doesn't care. Exactly. It's not like, oh, people are going to look at me. No, she, she's like that. But the most special thing or important thing about Ella is that she's very loyal. She has a best friend called Zoe. And sometimes... You know, Zoe, there's a, one of the, another book that's coming where um, they're in the school play together and Ella really, really wants the main part because she loves acting and dancing and everything. And Zoe is not so much in... She loves horses. Zoe loves horses. So 
Zoe doesn't want to be in the play. But when they have the auditions for the play, it turns out that Zoe is actually better and she gets the main part. Now, Ella could just say, I'm not talking to you anymore and yes. be very jealous. Yes. And she is a bit jealous. It would be unnatural for her not to be. But also she wants to support her friends. So I try to make the stories with her the friendships are important and maybe you fall out with each other like when I was doing the session before I said have you all got a best friend yes best friend forever yes BFF important do you sometimes have a little argument with your friend yes <laughs> but the next day you're all okay yes <laughs> so I try to I try to do this and I actually get a lot of because this has been an art in Australia for a while I actually get a lot of emails from little girls and, and their mothers too from all around the world, different countries and they write and they say oh thank you because I was having that same problem with Ella and now I know what to do because Ella worked it out for herself she doesn't have to run and get a grown up to do it she and her friends sort out their own problems and I think that's why, um, why people like it I hope so so uh, there are about 17 titles. I'm, I'm writing number 17. Writing I, 17. I think there are 14 now published. Okay. So there are a few more still to come. They'll all come to India very soon. <laughs> yes. And should I talk about it? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So Ella, um, in her family, uh, she's the oldest. And then she has an annoying little sister called Olivia. And you know how sometimes in families there's sibling rivalry. Right. So Ella's, because Olivia is a bit younger, she always wants to hang around with Ella's friends. Because Ella's 10 and Olivia's sort of 7 or 8. And it's All like, younger siblings want to do that. Of you course. Want to hang out yes, with her. she wants to hang out with her. And she's always coming into her room yeah. and re rearranging things and making a mess and yes. that sort of stuff. So um, Ella's always going, oh, my annoying sister. And then at the dinner table they go, I get, do not, do to, do not, do to, I am, you're not, this sort of thing, which was like in my family, it was like that, so I wanted to capture that, but then because Ella was going so well, um, they decided let's do a new series about Olivia, okay. and she gets to have her say. So when is that coming up? It's already out in Australia. There are already uh, four titles published four titles. And, and one coming in February. Okay. And Olivia is a bit different um, because Ella is very creative, but also she's, you know, she's very emotional and she can maybe get a little bit anxious about things at time and this is why she keeps her doing. Olivia is the opposite. She's very confident. She's very, I'm going to do it right now. Yeah. And she'll go out and do things. She plays soccer. She plays, she's got rollerblades. She is an inventor. So it's more like a STEM approach. So she's interested in science and technology. That's and I'm weird. hoping this is good um, for girls who want to, yes. to do the science yes. and technology. We'll definitely and identify maths. with them. Yes, so she's designing in her bedroom. She has a big cupboard for all her experiments. And she has... Uh, like she's doing mold, you know, she puts a bit of bread in one, she puts some cheesecake, she puts some cheese, she does things like that. But underneath, in the corner, she's building a time machine. Just out of things from around the house, so she puts a time machine. A time machine. Wow. Oh, yeah, she just needs a few more parts for it. So, you know, she's got bits of old clocks. And, yeah. But she does things like. She knows someone's coming into her room because Ella and Olivia used to share a bedroom like I did with my little sister. And she knows someone is coming in but she's not sure so she invents a room enterer detector. And she'll put a little piece of string across like this with chewing gum here. Yeah. And then she knows if the string is broken, yeah. someone is coming someone, in. Wow. Yes, so <laughs> things like that. Uh, the text and the illustration work together and they have to be seamlessly you know, melded. Because yes. It's so much a part of the story. It is. Um, and they're done as though Ella is... Uh, Ella is writing it herself. And, and, and doing sketching little it herself. Yes. 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 So that's why there's little love hearts in there. Yes. 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 It's called Sweetie Pie, I think. Oh. <laughs> so I'm very, very fortunate that I have a brilliant illustrator. And her name is Danielle McDonald. Yes. She's also from mm -hmm. Australia. Okay. And uh, so we, we hadn't, we didn't meet until okay. about five Ella books were done. Oh. But when we did meet, we found we were very in tune okay. with each other, okay. which is lucky. Yes. And she's also going to be doing 
Oh, she's also doing the Olivia, Olivia, Olivia series. Um, and the way that it works together is sometimes I will do a little illustration brief if, if it's needed. So I, sometimes I use metaphor in the book without using that poem. So she might be simmering with anger and she's about to explode because Peach, who is like a nemesis, the one that, you know, oh, you copied me, no, you copied me, this yes. sort of thing. She's going to explode, so she'll write a little haiku poem mm. about I am a volcano, I am about to erupt, you know, <laughs> like this. So I need then Danielle to draw the volcano erupting. Yes. So I might put some notes, okay. but a lot of the time I don't have to do that because Danielle will do it. And so she'll have someone going, I am in desperating despair, that's the words, and it will be <laughs> like this. Oh, she's looking up like this, you know. Oh. And she's very clever. And just with a few little lines, maybe I should yeah, show sure. some of them. Oh, that's the stylish. Oh, Ella Smeller and Toby Zoe. Do you have names that Peach has given? Yes, yes. Oh, so here's some of um, here's some of Ella's lovely fashion design styling. <laughs> So Elle thinks it's pretty cool. So she's very good at that. So I just have to write something like stylish outfit with pom-poms and fringing and she will just do it. Yeah, she's very good. So she designed all the covers um, and I've seen it like she maybe went through 10 different designs before she, came, yeah, before she came up with this. And then we put lots of little pictures. So sometimes, even before I finished writing the next book, because they come out so fast, it's been like four or five a year sometimes, um, I just send her some ideas about what's going to be in the book and she can start doing those here. And then we also have the end papers like this, which is really nice, yes. And they're not all pink. <laughs> So, so um, you will see here that the, there is what's called spot colour, yes. where there is an extra printing colour yes. through the drawings. And in, if the cover, oh, that's yes, that's the uh, ancient Egypt assignment. Right. Okay. If the colour, if the cover is green, then inside the printing will be green. So Ella has actually um, been going very well. This year there was the Children's Choice Awards that won an honour book in oh, that, which wow. is lovely. Congratulations. Thank you. And also it was uh, shortlisted for an environmental award because I did one called Going Green and she was going to be the um, planet protector. Right. So she wears a big cloak, I am Miss Sustainability, I am a superpower. So there's lots of things like that. So there's some more themes coming up there's one all about horses because of Zoe there's a school play there's a school camp where they go camping there's a few Christmas ones there's all sorts of different the horsey one I said the horsey one yes yes so uh, to uh, wrap this up yes uh, what is Indian leaders, you know, the kids over here who will be reading this. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, I've met a lot of Indian children already and yes. I love their enthusiasm for reading and writing and everyone seems so happy to yes. be reading and writing. And I, th I have, have one message for you. Keep reading and writing. Don't watch screens. <laughs> <laughs> Take the headphones out. Leave some room for your own imagination to come in. You can be bored. It's okay to be bored because when you're bored your imagination takes over and you can write your own stories. I want to see lots of new Indian children writing lots of books. That would be great. And I hope that you enjoy Ella and keep reading about her adventures and also Olivia's secret series. Which is coming soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.